Good morning, class. In today's lesson, we're going to work on a fundamental building block of the mathematics we'll be using for a good long time to come. Formally, it's called linear equations in two variables. When we say linear, we mean to say things that happen in a line. Linear equations help us identify how one thing relates to another. Remember, math is taking things from the real world and representing them in ways that we can predict and manipulate and use. You represent these relationships using a linear equation, which you can then show on a graph. One way to describe that graph is with the slope and the intercept. These two concepts are all you need to describe how two things relate to each other. A linear equation in two variables can be written in this way, y equals mx plus b. This is called the slope-intercept form of an equation. Any equation in two non-exponential variables can be written in this form. Let's try it out. Here's a graph. Here's the equation. Like I said, y equals mx plus b is the slope-intercept form of a line. m in this equation represents the slope, which is the angle of the line. A rapidly rising line has a large slope. A flatter line has a small slope. A line going down has a negative slope. We'll work on that later. The b in this equation is the intercept. That means where does the line cross the vertical axis? No matter what the slope is, the b shows where the line crosses this vertical axis. Let's talk about that slope. The slope is the angle of this line. More precisely, the slope m is defined as the rise over the run of this line. If you run some certain amount, how far does the line rise? I'll repeat those because it's fundamental. When the line runs over a certain amount, it rises up a certain amount. The slope is the rise over the run. But what if the line's going down? In that case, the line might be said to rise in the negative direction. The slope, the rise over the run, will have a negative number in it, and therefore the slope is negative. The y-intercept, b, is the point at which the line crosses the vertical axis. So in the slope-intercept form of the equation, just set x equal to 0, and y magically becomes b. Okay, there's your terminology, and it's pretty simple. Now we'll use this terminology in a real-world example. Let's say you're a publisher. You publish books. You publish math books. You want to print a new math book that some genius has just written. You need to know what it's going to cost to print a bunch of them. Well, the cost for printing generally can be represented as a linear equation. If you print so many books, it will cost you so much money. How much? Let's say your printer will do a thousand books for five thousand dollars, or two thousand books for seven thousand dollars. We've said before, any two points describe a line. Here's your line. With just these two points, you have enough to write this equation, to take this thing from the real world and represent it in ways we can predict and manipulate and use in slope-intercept form. Some of you may look at that and say, that's not right. Even if I print no books, it will still cost me money. That's true. There's more involved in printing books than just paper and ink and pressing go on the press. The press has to be set up, burn the plates, mix the ink, print the make-readies, etc. Those upfront setup costs are the B in this equation. Once you start the press, you have the cost of operating the press and the cost of the paper. Those are directly related to the number of books you print. That's represented by M. This is a linear equation. Cost is your Y. It equals your slope times your number of books plus your Y-intercept. So the slope of this particular line, we can see by measuring, is a 1,000 books run and $2,000 rise. Rise over run is 2,000 divided by 1,000, 2. Let's extend the line now and see where it crosses the y-axis. It hits the y-axis at $3,000. That's represented in our equation by b. So we know how to represent this line now. y equals 2x plus 3,000. We've now modeled a real-world situation using math. We can use this model now to figure out a couple of other things. Let's say you want to print 50,000 books. What will that cost you? We'll use our equation. Cost equals 2 times the number of books, 50,000, plus 3,000. $103,000 to print 50,000 books. Oh my goodness, I don't have that kind of money. I'm just a small publisher. My budget for this project is only $75,000. How many books can I print then? We can use the same equation. Only now we know our cost, $75,000. How many books can I print with that? Let's plug in our numbers and solve algebraically. 
We'll solve for x the number of books. Subtract 3,000 from each side of the equation, divide both sides by 2, and we find for $75,000 we can produce 36,000 books. Excellent. Let's get started. To review, you can relate two things to each other with the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line, y equals mx plus b. m is the slope, the rise over the run, and b is the y-intercept, which you get at zero.